today we're going to be looking at the use of a 110 volt power supply as opposed to the normal 240 volt domestic supply. Uh, 110 volt is obligatory on building sites throughout the UK um, and if you're doing a lot of work outside at home it's really not a bad idea to use 110 volt, it's considerably less dangerous um, and the equipment provided that to, to allow you to use um, 110 volt is normally a great deal more robust than the domestic stuff that you use so less time, chance of breakage and damage so we're just, I'm just going to show you today what you would need to get to, um, to use a 110 volt supply. Uh, the first thing you need is, is a transformer. And the transformer, as the name clearly implies, transforms the 240 volt um, supply down to 110 volt. Um, you can see possibly, if the camera's zooming up, when you go and hire electrical equipment from a hire shop, it will more often than not come with a safety seal around the plug, a checking seal, um, and that shows you that this equipment was checked when it came back um, off hire last time, so it's good to go this time and all, and all perfectly safe. So you'd have to take that off, obviously, to plug it in. So you would just plug the transformer into your mains, um, which I'm not going to do, this is just a demonstration, obviously, but you'd plug that into the mains, and that would give you then on this particular transformer two outlets um, some have four some just have one and um, that would allow you to plug your um, in this case this is a submersible pump that you can see in front of you um, this is a big submersible pump the sort of pump that we would use to pump out foundations that have got full overnight or whatever big piece of rope around it to drag it out of the trench afterwards rather than do what some home improvers do and use a cable to pull it up again um, so this is the plug that would simply plug into the uh, extension lead in, uh, to, into the transformer and you can see how this will only go in one way because there's a little um, raised bit or a nodule or, nodule or whatever on the bottom that simply guides into the slot on the, on the transformer and then you push that home. And, the safety features go beyond that because the lid of the female part of the socket clips down over the male part of the socket where there's a little upstand there and stops that plug being pulled out accidentally. So there's a lot more safety features built into 110 volt equipment than there are 240 most of the time. Um, but however, you might not be able to get, there's not a very long lead on transformers, that's not normally the case because the transformers are normally kept inside. So you'd get that as close to an electric socket as you could. And then of course your foundation trench or whatever, your pond or whatever it is you're pumping might be quite a long way from, from the socket and the transformer. So you would use then um, an extension lead. It's as simple as that. But this is a 110 extension lead. You can see the cable's a lot more robust, a lot thicker than some normal 240 volt cables. Um, this is a typical example of a 110 extension lead that um, a home improver would hire. Um, it's a little bit thinner, it's not quite so robust. It's, it's on a drum, so it can be wound in. Again, this would go into the transformer, and there are your two outlets there. So that's another type of um, extension lead. Uh, a bigger one for four outlets, we would use this if we were, if we were, um, if we had two or three things going on at the same time, maybe a Kango hammer or whatever as well as the submersible and two or three things we're having at once. So that's got four outlets on that. This is the new type of um, extension lead for 110. Um, these have been a while, they've been out for quite a long while now, but um, all of the older types didn't used to have this. These have got indicator lights on, much the same as some of the domestic extension leads. So you can see that red indicator light there, and there's an indicator light for every for every outlet. This again is a four outlet extension lead and it shows quite clearly that it's on, that it's working so you can see at a glance um, if you've got the red light on then you know you've got live current going through that thing. So that's a little bit about 110 um, equipment that as I say we use on site but if you're doing a great deal of work out outdoors especially if you're cutting using cutting discs or whatever or you're working close to water you know, it's a really good idea just to, to hire the transformer and 
the associated 110 stuff that goes with that. Keeps you that little bit safer.